What's up guys, welcome to Superwise, I'm John, we have some things to talk about in She-Hulk Attorney at Law Episode 2. I really enjoyed the episode, I didn't think it was as great as the first episode, I think that Disney and Marvel Studios should have just released both episodes at once, but that's just a tiny critique. The episode was good, it was full of references and reveals that we are definitely going to talk about. It was a fun, good episode. Seeing her be hired to lead this new superhuman division is a really interesting idea. But what really took the stage was the reveals. Let's first talk about the reveal of Abomination back. Last time we saw Tim Roth in the role was 2008. I've always really liked The Incredible Hulk from 2008 to now. And hearing all these references about Harlem, seeing him back, it was truly awesome. I've been waiting for this. And even from the little of what we saw of him, they still did a really good job of flushing him out. We explore his line of thinking. He was a soldier, but he wanted to be Captain America. He wanted to be the hero. He saw himself as the hero. We see him tearing up, and I felt that. We hear his side of it. Blonsky's a changed man now. We haven't seen him since 2008. It was off-screen development, but I'm more cool with it than Smart Hulk because we haven't seen him since that time. He's writing haikus now, which I thought was pretty funny because it leads into Smart Hulk talking to Jen about Abomination and how him and Blonsky are cool now. Blonsky sent him a haiku and they made up, which I thought was really cool. But that leads to the elephant in the room, which is that Smart Hulk is in space. He is on the Sakaar ship and he's going somewhere, probably Sakaar. This has got to be set up, right? I mean, this just has to lead to something. Planet Hulk, World War Hulk, I don't know. They could have kept him on Earth, but they didn't. Why? Man, I'm excited. But this leads us to the ultimate Easter egg. When Jennifer is on the computer, we see an article headline that says, Man fights with metal claws and bar brawl. Wolverine exists in the MCU. Let's go. This is so awesome. They're already laying the seeds. And from this, we know that Wolverine already underwent his experimentation. He already has the adamantium, which is a cool detail. Other than that, it was a good fun episode. The ending tying it into Shang-Chi was cool too. To be honest, the show isn't all that funny. For a show that's labeled a comedy, the jokes aren't really hitting. I like the tone though. There are some jokes, but it doesn't ruin the drama or intensity just yet. Just wish there was better jokes. But really enjoyed the episode. Tell me in the comments down below, what did you think about She-Hulk episode 2? And what do you think about those Easter eggs and those references and the reveals? So awesome, man. Tell me in the comments down below. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That'll be all for me. Remember my catchphrase, guys. Stay super wise.